New York City, the center of the world. Tourists from all over the world come and go every day of the year to Times Square. Here, 73-year-old Ms. Gao arrives at the same time every day to warmly greet strangers from China. New York's Pier 15 is where people go to visit the Statue of Liberty, and Ms. Chu can always be found among the crowd. The beautiful city of Lucerne, Switzerland, is a cultural center that attracts tourists from far and wide. Ms. Yang, a retired university executive now in her 70s, has been traveling three hours a day for the past 12 years to find the Chinese tourists there. Scenes like this are many and can be found in Los Angeles, Washington, D.C., Paris, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and over 100 other cities and regions around the globe. Thanks to the Tuaidong movement, almost 300 million people have renounced the Chinese Communist Party. What exactly are these Chinese people doing? And what is it that drives them?那么他这个用非常多的实事来揭露了共产党的邪恶本质这一系列社论呢在中国人中间引起非常大的反响中国人很多人都就惊醒过来了那么从此引发一个退党大潮越来越多的人就开始要声明推出这个共产党啊少先
我是九八年五岁的时候和爸妈一起修炼法轮功的，当时九九年开始镇压了嘛，然后我和妈妈一起被监禁在学校里面，那爸爸被非法劳教，然后当时妈妈是工资被停了，所以我们每天都是吃方便面，然后下学之后也不许回家，只能住在学校里，然后后来在零二年的时候，爸爸妈妈一起被公安局非法抓捕，然后爸爸被判了四年，妈妈是七年，都是判刑。后来这几年，我都是在亲戚家和亲戚一起生活的。当时零四年在明慧网上就是说有关三退的这些内容，当时我的我在姑姑家住，姑姑就帮我做了三退。我当时是少先队。I watched the first fire. I read the nine commentaries on the Communist Party. That's a great book. It reveals the evil nature of the CCP to me, in front of me. It's like I I started to realize we we have been living in big lies. I visited the the, the Santui the Santui website. I I wrote on it, and it was the day, the exact day on um, 2014, um, ten years after the Nine Commentary on CCP Party was published. In December 2004, the Epoch Times received the first public statement of withdrawal from the Chinese Communist Party. On January 1, 2005, a group of overseas Chinese scholars issued a joint statement of their withdrawal from the Chinese Communist Party and its affiliated organizations. Since then, the number of people participating in the three withdrawals has risen daily climbing from dozens in the beginning to hundreds and now close to or more than 100,000 people every day. Every two seconds, on average, three Chinese people quit the CCP's three organizations. There are centers for quitting the CCP and volunteers all over the world who assist people to complete the three withdrawals in various ways. Many people choose to post their own statement on the Epoch Times website. There are volunteers from outside the mainland who help people quit by making calls to China, and others who use semi-automated systems to call. Sometimes, volunteers dial a number more than three times in order to help a person in quitting. There are also many who volunteer at tourist sites, more than a dozen such sites in New York, including the Empire State Building, Times Square, Rockefeller Center, Chinatown, Flushing, Brooklyn, Pier 15, and so on, are run by volunteers all year round. 高峰的时候，我可以，呃，几个小时，我可以劝退上百人。有时候一群一群人的退，有时候一车一车的人退，有时候呢一家人一家人的退。我从二零零八年的五月我开始做记录，直到现在呢，我呃三退呢两万九千啊八百多人。像我有一次碰到一个一对夫妇，呃，他们是上海来的，然后他们俩退了。然后他回过头来还说：“那这两个也是我朋友呢，他们也是入团入队的，也叫他退，也叫他退。那我出去三退的时候呢，我专门有本子，这是第八本了，啊，那每次出去退呢都有名字，都有日期，那我每次呢都可以上网，啊，因此说到目前为止呢，就说我已经退了一万五千七百多。”这十多年的期间，协助中国民众退出中共的党团队呢，总共超过三百一十九万人。嗯，抛弃中共的人越来越多。比如说，我们在就是第一个一亿三退的时候是二零零五年一月份哈，到这个二零一一年，花了将近六年半的时间。后来的两亿呢，也是花了将近就是六年半的时间，就是二零一八年，估计是二三月份能达到这个三亿，所以它是在成倍的增长。Tweedang.epochtimes.com. This website is the platform and database for the declaration and recording of the withdrawal statements. Each statement is unique and is distinguished by date, time, name, address, and statement content. Each statement has a digital ID that also serves as a count of the total number of people who quit the Chinese Communist Party. Chinese Communist Party. 
呃，登记程序都是非常严格，有层层把关的。如果有些，比如说某一个地方有重名或者什么，因为我们退党一共有编号，我们会返回去去问。那么这个数字呢，非常可信的。For those who don't live under communist rule, it is hard to understand the amount of courage needed to publicly state one's exit from the Communist Party in China. If students want to find a good job, if employees want to move up. And businessmen want to maintain their business. They must become members of the CCP organizations to be able to achieve their goals. In other words, for the past 60 years, in order to live a normal life in China, everyone has had to become a member of the CCP. However, those who really understand the truth and have decided to do the three withdrawals are grateful and joyous in their hearts because they know it is right to abandon the CCP. And they can finally now live with integrity. I think I can't live with this fear for the rest of my life. I think I need to stand up, at least to help myself to overcome this fear. And it's right. Why don't I do it? Just like I said earlier, I received a short message from a friend who told me to leave. One person came out and said, "Let me sit down for a while. Give me some water. I've brought it from the house. I said, no, don't. Give me some water. I've brought it from the house. I said, no, don't. Give me some water. I've brought it from the house. I said, no, don't. Give me some water. I've brought it from the house. I said, no, don't. 你给我们都退了，这多高兴的事儿啊！咱们共同分享。我们跟他做完三退，也跟他讲，他说你不必讲，我都知道，我的全家都被共产党迫害死了，我退，我退，我退。然后他热泪盈眶地对我们说：“你们要保重啊！你们是天上神派来的天使，你们是我们中国人的希望。”在中国，主要是以这个人传人、心传心的这种方式来退。比如说，我一个人退了，我了解真相，我觉得这么好的事情，我要让我的，呃，家人，让我的亲朋好友都来退，这样可以选择一个好的未来。Signs of the Tuidang movement can be found in all parts of China, in the streets, parks, and residential areas. The phrase "Heaven wants to destroy the CCP, quit for your safety" has circulated everywhere. These words can even be found on Chinese money. While overseas, large numbers of Chinese people do the three withdrawals at tourist attractions across the world. It's worth pointing out that due to the Communist Party's internet blockade and the frenzied crackdown on dissidents, in order to log on to the website to quit the CCP, people have to use special software to break through the firewall. Some people even risk persecution for sending the withdrawal statements to the overseas Tuidang websites. But this cannot block the power of people's wish to seek the truth. There is no shortage of government officials, diplomats, lawyers, teachers, and police department personnel who work in the CCP system that are among those who quit the party. They're even more able to understand the nature of the CCP than the average person. They have a bird's eye view. Of the irreversible destruction of the CCP, and have seen sooner than most that only a China free of the CCP has hope. There are many righteous people who have braved the risk of being persecuted and stood up publicly to quit the party, further inspiring people to join the Tuidang movement. On June 4, 2005, Mr. Chen Yonglin, then First Secretary of the Chinese Consulate General in Sydney. Publicly announced his departure from the CCP at the June 4th rally in Sydney. On June 8th, 2005, Mr. Hao Fengjun, former official of the 610 office of Tianjin Public Security Bureau, publicly stated his withdrawal from the party during an interview by the major Australian media. On December 13, 2005, Mr. Gao Zhisheng, a lawyer. Known as China's conscience, made a public statement of withdrawal from the party and set off a new upsurge for quitting the party. Mr. Jia Jia, former Secretary General of the Shanxi Provincial Association of Science and Technology Experts. Mr. Li Fengzhi, a former official of the Chinese Ministry of National Security. Unlike the free societies in the West, China is a one-party dictatorship. The CCP's violence keeps Chinese people living in fear. All the time, to do the three withdrawals takes great courage. However, Chinese people have begun to change, driven by the tide of the Tuidang movement. More people are choosing to bravely stand up and withdraw from the CCP with their names. 
The Global Service Center for Quitting the CCP at various rallies presents certificates to individuals who quit under their real name. This certificate has been approved by many countries as a legal document for immigrants. I think the Tridang movement is vitally important to give those people who are in this evil system a chance to get out. I think it's great that people are saying that they want to remove their names and get out of the Communist Chinese Party. In 86, 87, very few people thought that the Communist uh, government would fall. And yet, in 89, you saw them just crumble from Poland to Romania. We hope the same thing happens in China. That's, I think, what scares the regime in China, is uh, that many freedom-loving people in a freedom-loving movement. And I just do not believe that communist philosophy is anything except the antithesis of freedom. The people now are taking at least an individual moral decisions that they Clearly, they don't want to be associated with the present regime. I applaud all those who are trying to, to make it possible for people to come back and, and get away from the, from the monster. Obviously, there is no religious freedom. Obviously, there is no freedom of the press. There is no freedom of speech. Therefore, I'm not surprised that many, many more Chinese are walking away from the Communist Party. For decades, the Communist Party of China has exported communist wickedness to the outside world, bringing disaster to Southeast Asia, the Indochina Peninsula, Africa, and Latin America and has further infiltrated parts of the Western world, such as the United States, Canada, Europe, and Australia, and New Zealand. In the past 30 years, all Western countries have hoped to change the CCP through initiatives like free trade in economic and diplomatic cooperation. However, Western investment of hundreds of billions of dollars each year didn't make China embark on democratic reforms and improve the CCP. On the contrary, it pumped new life into it the CCP, in turn, used communist spies and incentives to infiltrate communism into the Western world. Right now they are buying up politicians in Australia and New Zealand. They are dominating Africa. They are buying up huge influence in South America, Latin America, and also in the United States and Canada. I think with the CCP, we will face a better future. Do something, either you know from your heart or, or anything you could to spread the truth. More than 3,000 years ago, Moses led the persecuted Hebrews to leave ancient Egypt for the fertile land that the gods handed down. Today, the awakened Chinese are expressing the same idea in a peaceful manner. Martin Luther King said, the greatest tragedy of this period of social transition was not the strident clamor of the bad people, but the appalling silence of the good people. Historically, the United States has been the world's beacon of freedom. The abandonment of communism by the Chinese people will also help the American people and the U.S. government resist the encroachment and control of the communist forces internally and globally. This hollowed body this body that stands for freedom and justice and respect for human rights. To the leaders of China, do not be afraid of freedom. On September 23, 2011, eight members of the U.S. House of Representatives, 
including U.S. Congressman Thaddeus G. McCotter, jointly submitted the 416th Resolution of the House of Representatives. This is in solidarity with the Epoch Times' nine commentaries on the Communist Party editorial that has triggered the movement of nearly 300 million Chinese people quitting the CCP and its affiliated organizations. Many U.S. politicians have expressed their support for the tide of quitting the party by issuing speeches, writing letters, and by participating in assembly rallies. We firmly believe that people who defend justice and conscience will eventually win, and that history is not written for evil. At the turning point of history, no one can simply walk by. Let each of us make the right choice, witnessing this historic moment together.